The world has witnessed many changes, and one of it came with religion. Colonization and religion came in hand in hand. Colonization might have ended leaving behind different cultures infusing into the African culture, but religion has stayed and evolved, especially here in Nigeria. Hello and welcome to the program Music Makers. It's a platform where Nigerian artists come and share their life stories and creative works with us. It's reaching you from Voice of Nigeria. And today I have with me a gospel artist to share her music story with us. My name is Glory Ohagu. Welcome and stay tuned. Well, how would you love to meet my guest? Would you love her voice or her music? I prefer the music because when you hear the works, you'd want to meet who owns the works. So here is my guest with this song simply titled, I'm Taking Over. Enjoy it. Taking over there, done by my guest and this edition taken from God of War, also titled Ojo Ajogu. It's now time to meet my guest and to hear her music story. So here she comes. My name is Rosemary Adeja. I'm an Igala by tribe. I'm from Kogi State. Music is my hobby, my life. I sing when I sleep. I sing when I dance. I sing when I cry. I was born and bred in Zaire. Singing is a family thing, actually. My dad and mom sings. My siblings sing. My mom plays the African drums and she dances very well. My dad plays the mouth organ. So they met in a local town's meeting and that was how they fell in love ah. and they got married. And growing up, it was fun. And I was their first child, actually. And they didn't have all the children on time. So I was like their friend. When I was four, she took us with her meeting groups. They call them Ogugu. She's the head of their meeting. To so NTA, then you have to pack all your gadgets, the drums, the everything. And then we went with her. We were her dancers. It was fun. So lovely family. Everyone sings. So Everyone how many dance. are you in total? Six children. Mother, father, eight of us. That's some beautiful, big African family. It would seem yours is a Von Trapp-like family in Sound of Music, where music runs in the veins, mother, father, to the yeah, children. Yeah. But at what point did you actually pick interest in professional uh, music? Professionally, I was an adult. But I started when I was seven. I was singing in Sunday school, and I was like almost the head of the children, and most of them didn't like it at all. But, you know, as I grew older, I noticed that I just love doing it. I try doing so many other things like business and then I don't find joy in anything than singing. So I said to myself, I think this singing is it. So I started and then at one point I was in Balamila in Kaduna with my friends. So I now asked if I could sing a song and I was granted and I sang a song I Want to Know by Bonnie M. And then he's like, wow, you have a beautiful voice. Can you sing another one? And I sang Malaika by Mara Makeba. And that was it. And then he said he was going to employ me. I was like, I've never worked before. So I was employed and I was there for like uh, three months. Some people came from Abuja and like they're looking for Rose. I said, Rose, because I didn't think I was good then. They said, yes, they want me to come and sing in Abuja Sheraton. I'm like, eh, I can't. They said, I can. So that was it. Uh, Sheraton Hotels then. Dominant sound, they call them. I was given a very big room and I've never seen that kind of luxury. I'm like, oh, I'm going to dry. And that was it. And I started my career from there. 
You started singing yes, at the dominant group for Charlton yes, Hotel in Abuja, Abuja. Nigeria. Yes. So at what point did you flip into gospel music? Because that was secular. Yeah, okay, yeah. That was secular, you're right. I left there, I went to Transcop. I was given a contract on my own. I was at the piano lounge and then I had boys working for me. You know how it is. You go to church and every day they're preaching and you're looking like, oh, but I sing in a bar. And then I want to get more closer to God. There's no music that is for the devil. Psalm 24 says the earth is the Lord's and everything that is in it. So I don't think any music belongs to the devil, but because of our backgrounds and everything in church and all that. And of course, if truly you want to make it more official, you have to just give one thing up to get one thing. So I now opt to the church. So I was made a choir leader in a shepherd house. I said there's no need for me to continue to sing in the club. Rosemary and education. Let's know the schools you attended, starting from the very basic and what you got from them. I went to Kofanduka Primary School in Zaria. At a point, my dad, because he works for ABU, I was admitted into the staff school. And then from there, I went to government commercial, my secondary school. And then I went to Still ABU. Still in Zaria? Yes, everything in Zaria. It was from school that I came to Balamila. I left there finished my secondary school in National Secretarial College in Zaria. When I finished, got into ABU and uh, I read English and that was it. Did you finish? <sighs> okay. It's really not funny. I entered the university with uh, my sister's result because I couldn't write my YEC. There was no much money then. My dad, being a Christian, asked me to wait a while, but, uh, you know, I was uh, a youth and I I just wanted to go to school. My name is Amina Adejo, you know, I just used the resort and <laughs> I went to school. I was given biochemistry. So along the line, uh, after I, I wrote my exam, I thought I could swerve. So I swerved to English, you know, and along the line uh, in school, in it's actually <laughs> the school board yes. found out yes yes they did and uh, i had to leave the school you had to leave the yes. school did you ever go back on your own back to that no same no school? to write an exam on your own of course and go back of course i school. have but I, I i did and i dropped again that was at Ekboma. i wrote another exam pass it in fact my dad registered me you know again said you can do it and all that i know my parents were wonderful people so i went back to Ekboma, and uh, eventually i dropped again you dropped again yeah, why so did you drop that would be the question that was money, money. okay financial yes, issues financial, mm. but those two experiences what did they leave in you and what would be the lesson for anyone who is listening right now? Well, don't give up. Because at a point, I gave up. But I find my groove. When I met Balamina, he told me that I can't do it again. He told me that if I can sing, I have something inside of me that the world will want to hear. And then I was able to believe in myself again. It was not easy for me. <laughs> so that was it. That was it. Who yeah. is Bala? Okay. Balamila is an African artist. He, he's late now. Okay. Though, yeah. Okay. Mm. But he really gave me hope. You he know. gave you hope. Yes. That's a lesson to everyone who's listening right now. That no matter what you're going through, life has valleys. It has hills. It has roads. Life is indeed a journey. But whatever you're going through, if you set your mind to it and you're determined, you can indeed make it. Well, Rose has taken me to a breaking point and let's talk this song, Ojo Ajogu. Ojo Ajogu is like part of my story. Actually, I've seen so many trauma. When I came to Abuja, I met a man and I, we tried to get married, but unfortunately, you know, it didn't work out. I have a daughter. My name is Emanuela. I look at it. My life has been from one battle to the other, you know. And then I looked inside and I said to myself, God can fight it for me. And then I came with this song. God that does everything and anything that pleases him, to him be the glory. And then I invite him as a God of war. 
to go into battle for me. Okay, so here's Rosemary Adeja taken from the title of the album God of War, Ojo Ajogu. Enjoy it and get inspired that God can indeed fight your battles. <laughs> Indeed, you do what you please to do. Rosemary, what inspires you to write the deep songs that you write with all emotions painted therein? It's from God, about God, and to God. Like I said when we started, I sing when I smile, I sing when I cry, I sing when I sleep. Sometimes I sing from my sleep. Like one of the songs I'm taking over, I got it when I was mopping my floor. And I was like, I'm taking over. God, you're Jehovah. I can take over. Yes, that's true. Yeah, I got a song. And that is it. Then I started writing. Tell us about the process of doing the album God of War. Because after leaving secular music, where there are tips <laughs> yeah. and profits. Some would say doing gospel music in Nigeria is not profitable. So take us well, through the album making process. Well, it was not easy at all. I did my first album, uh, New Day for Africa, while I was still singing in Transcorp Hilton. I put in everything that I had. And at the end of the day, on the launching date, I didn't get much. I was discouraged, so I said I was not going to do any album again. But I keep writing songs, and I feel I owe myself all these songs. What is going to become of them? So I said, okay, I want to give it to my producer, Beatrice, and his wife, Becky, Tabexa Creation. They actually encouraged me. They said, Rose, you don't have to write all the songs and keep them. So one day, what is the problem? I told them money. <laughs> he said, if it is money, just come and record. And that was it. He's not the only one, actually, that I've up to record me free. Sometimes, you know, I just get tired. I'm not just interested, you know. But I said, I owe this generation all these songs and all this voice. I said, let me just sing something so that I will not go back to my maker without anything to show for it. It's sincerely. It's just that, you know, sometimes in life you just get discouraged at some things. You try this one, it's like it's not working. You go here, like a position here and there. And sometimes you want to throw in the towel. That was what happened to me. But right now, I can say to anybody, it's possible if you dare to continue. If you dare to do it. That was why I sang that song, Gongoni. You know, the devil just presents fear to you. And then you buy it. And then people begin to say, the devil, the devil. The devil actually uses you against you. It's like a dark place. You see it dark, you think there's something bad there. And your mind begins to tell you, oh, there could be a snake there. If you don't get there, how will you know there's a snake in that dark? You notice that most times when you get to a dark place, it becomes brighter. So that was it. And I say, wow. Well, actually, I've been afraid of nothing. I can do it. And that was how we came with this album. You have done secular music. Yes, ma'am. And now you're doing gospel music. So you've seen both sides of the coin. Yeah. And you're a woman in Nigeria mm. doing music. They say there's different strokes for different gender in music in Nigeria. How has your experience uh, been mm. and what lessons are there for people to learn? Well, singing in the club for me was not an easy tax. Every man thinks you're just anything they can go to bed with. But I managed it because I got into a relationship. The father of my child, we were dating, so there was no chance at all. And I tell him everything. But, you know, it's just that uh, it's like the man's world. He didn't tell me everything. And when I found out some of the things, so we couldn't uh, continue. But I already had a child. We're not married, you know. But that was for the club. And in church also, you know, you just sing and some people say, oh, she used to sing in the club. Are you sure she's really born again? Are you sure she's really true? 
But, you know, I don't owe anybody any explanation. I owe it to only God. I know who I am. I know what I'm doing. I know where I'm going. Time actually, you know, defines uh, it. You don't really owe anybody. You owe it to God because at the end of the day, he's the one you're going to give account to. So that was what happened to me in church. Most people didn't believe me. Most people don't trust me. Most people think that I'm just faking it. But I know what I was doing. And I was not doing it unto man just to please my maker. How many years have you put into music so far? Ooh, um, since I was seven, professionally, 15 years. 15 years. years. How yes. many albums do you have to yourself? Um, New Day for Africa. New Day for Africa. Africa. Yes. And then God of War that we have yes, in yes, our hands. Yes. How profitable is gospel music? Well, hmm. It was better, like you said, when you sing in club, there's tips and everything. When church, you just sing and God bless you. And God truly has been blessing me. God has been paying my bills without anybody. You know, you're not paid in church. Most people even take the albums for free. But truly, God is faithful. How is it like mm. doing music and being a single mother because you have a daughter to cater <laughs> to? I run a prayer ministry, you know. I don't know how it came about, but it just came, you know. While I was in Transcorp, because I do sing at night, I just find out that I couldn't sleep. So instead of just sitting down without sleeping, I just started praying. And as I was praying, gradually I was a house cell leader in my former church. And then they started joining me. And before you know it, then now we are praying for people. So sometimes people come, you pray for them, and then they give you a good offering, not because you ask for it because I don't beg anybody. He who calls me can pay my bills. But God has been faithful, sincerely. What's your view of music in Nigeria? Especially these days where everybody thinks rhythm takes over content. What's your view? Um, well, the kind of music they play, I most of them don't have a message. But if you listen very vividly, I think like the parable of the talent... I think they are singing as they understood him. You know, God gave the word. Many people had different things. Yes. Like if we're 12 here and you whisper to the first person, I love you. Say, I love you to the second person. By the time you get to the 12th person, nobody will hear, I love you. Maybe to be S or something. So that is how it is. So I'm sure they are singing according to their understanding. God spoke to each and every one of us, gave us different talents, and we heard different things, and we are interpreting the way we heard it. Okay, I think a music break is up, and the next song is still taken from her brand new album, God of War. And this one, she says, is Gunguni. It means... Empty noise. By... The devil. Oh, the devil? It suggests things to you, make you fear, and then at the end of the day, your fear brings negative things on you, and you begin to say, the devil, the devil. But if you look at it, most times you don't actually say the devil. He uses you. So these two beings, God and the devil, needs man to walk her. So whenever you fear, remember, it's just empty noise. Walk your fear so that you can have your own faith bills to hand down to someone else. So what are your future plans? I intend to release as many songs as possible because as much as I keep writing them, I just want to keep releasing it. And after which I'm going to release as many albums as possible. How can women who do music in Nigeria find a balance between the art and the finance? Because there seem to be walls mm. that need to be broken. Well, I don't know why people commonize music, even though it's the best thing that has ever happened to humanity. I wish people would understand that in as much as music gives solace, 
it deserves to be sponsored. Talk about piracy to make it mandatory that it should not be pirated or if it will be pirated, it should be bought at a certain amount so that the person in question who own a particular song will be able to say, okay, thank God I'm able to make something out of my talent. Now that it's like a, a career for me, I believe God that it's going to be better. And then I have this plan of owning an orphanage and all that, yeah. Well, I think your story is an unfolding one. I might have to call you back again. But since you are in the prayer ministry and in the music ministry, how do these two marry to cause a positive change in a nation such as Nigeria? Wow. Very well. Before the government changed to this one, we prayed immensely for Nigeria. So when we worship, I believe when I lead people to worship God, he will release his change in all the nation. And when we pray to God, we're telling him our helplessness. So he will release help to us. So these two actually intermarry, I think, is the music that bets the prayer. So artists should not just sing. They yeah. should pray and intercede yes. for the nation mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I'm looking for Rose Adeja online, where do I find her? Abuja Rose 03 at Yahoo. Dot com. I'm building a website, but when I'm done, maybe the next time I... On Facebook? Rose Adeja. That's yes. R-O-S-E-A-D-E-J-O-H. Yes. Rose, thank you so very much. There's more stories from you to come, mm -hmm. and I hope I have the privilege to share the story. And so to sign off, Rose says God is a God of solution. It doesn't matter what you're going through. What inspired the song God of Solution? I was also at Dunamis. I went to my Bible school there. Then the choir master was uh, Pastor Elijah Oyelade. So when I was heading the choir in Shepherd House, when I have it tough with the so-called big girls and they won't listen to me, sometimes I want to give up. And then I went to him. I said, how do you manage to keep this choir? At least this is bigger than ours. And he said, go back to Bethel. So that was how I got the song. Going back to Bethel, pray, came back, and everyone was behaving normally. I'm like, wow, it worked. Okay, let's give it a song. And that is the God of Solution. God of Solution by Rosemary Adejo signing off this edition of Music Makers. On behalf of my sound monitor, Amina Abu, my name is Glory Ohago. Remember, we're on Twitter. The handle is at Voice of Nigeria. Visit www.voiceofnigeria.org.ng. Beautiful things are happening there. Thank you once again, and may the God of Solution cause solutions for you wherever you have challenges. Bye bye. Love is unsearchable